outside that Portola Music Festival here today hanging out with Gioli and Asia. Hi, Hi guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Yeah, Hi, thank thanks you for, for having us. us. Yeah. yeah, no problem. Well, you know, this is the very first Portola Music Festival. You guys have been to San Francisco before and you guys just played your set. How, how are you guys enjoying it so far? Yeah, we love it. It's not our first time in San Francisco, yeah. as you said. It's our second, the third time, but we, uh, every time we come here, we love it. It's better and better. People is warm today. Also, the weather is perfect, so we really loved it. Yeah. What's, what's, uh, what's else to ask? Like, it's so beautiful, yeah. no? So, yeah. We you guys came it. at a great time, you know, we still have this summer heat and it's still wow. so sunny yeah, out, I love so it. yeah. I'm welcome. gonna move, <laughs> perfect period actually, <laughs> so yes, yeah, because yes, yes. last time was so cold. So. Yeah, I think the last time you guys were here was in December, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, right. right. So yeah, 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 yeah sure. at least this time it's warmer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so congratulations on your guys' newest album, Fire, Thanks so much. Hell and Holy Water. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about that album and, you know, how you guys came about naming it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so our inspiration came from actually our previous US tour. After last year in December, we came back in January home and we were so inspired, like we knew exactly what we want to give to the people during our live show. So we did our album thinking already about the live show. So the intro and the outro, they are really performed live as every part of the album. But like we were thinking when we were at Logic Pro, like this must be so cinematic, yeah. this must be so emotional. And yeah, like the first tracks we produced were playing chess, Peter Sweet Love, and then piece after piece we built the whole project. Yeah. One the, yeah. Yeah, the funny stuff about the name is like after being in the US for the tour in December, we went back and we were like struggling with some of the family problems like between us as well so it was a very hard period like very serious family problems so we were like this kind of period like her is like everything is fire hell and holy water you know because it's a, a way to say in Italian in Sicilian it's a dialect il diavolo e l'acqua santa so it was like kind of mixing the bad and the good thing so it was like the perfect name and then we choose it together because it was oh this is just perfect. yeah when when she came back home because she was at her family house and yeah. I was home she came back home with this idea of this title it was like I love it we have to name the whole album like this song and then we piece after piece we build the whole project I yeah I was studying Greek myth and Latin language at high school, so I really love Greek mythology. And this is why we connected the hell, the image of the hell with Eurydice and her fuse. So like she dies, yeah. he goes to the hell, he won her back, and then the w in the way back to the earth, he turns around, so she dies again. This is the small story behind it. Yeah, but in general, we really love this album because we wanted to really give a statement that this is Johnny Nastia, not just for the music, but also for all the lyrics. It is entirely produced and written by us. And it blends all the things we love, like duality, bad things, good things, like us in the best way possible. Yeah, and also the intro is called, the first song of the album is called Meaning of Life because after her cousin death of cancer, we were sitting at the sofa thinking like, what's the meaning of life? Yeah, a lot we, of bad things we are happen born that then, period. So we were yeah, like, like we go to work, everything goes so fast and then eventually we die without even expecting that to be so fast. And yeah, yeah so what's the meaning of life? There's no meaning of life and this is how we build the first song. I was listening to the album, it definitely feels very cinematic. It definitely felt like main character energy. Yeah. And you know, you could feel the emotions that you guys are putting into it. And I definitely felt that, you know, as you listen to the album, it feels like you're trying to find hope, you know, yeah, in, in right. darkness, you know, in depression. And I loved, I really loved it. And it definitely made me feel like so warm in its side. It made me feel like Thanks I get like that. feel, it made me feel like I was in a movie, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> the intention. You. Like yeah. if you listen to it as a soundtrack, it really fits like in moments like when you're sad or when you're happy as well, or when you just want to be angry with someone. So it really fits all the emotions and uh, it's perfectly what we wanted to give to our people. Like. This is like what we feel and I hope you feel the same. Yeah, so. and also we are here thanks to what we've done on YouTube, mostly yeah. our DS is live. And the best thing about our DS is live is that they have usually an intro, like there's a lot of energetic parts, powerful part, and then the last song usually is more cinematic with the piano. And this is the same journey we wanted to give through the yeah. album. And speaking of the Diaz is live, you know, you guys had so many great locations for that. You guys Thank even you. like 
filmed it inside an, an active vol volcano, right? Like, yeah. what, what sort of... Insp what? Two volcanoes. Yeah, so like, <laughs> Actually, that's three, crazy. but no, one of them was not Oh, active, yeah, three so volcanoes. Yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. Right, right. We are the volcanoes queen. <laughs> <laughs> so as volcano queens, like, what? why did you choose volcanoes? Like, why not, like, a beach or well, something something else, yeah. you know? There's yeah. nothing... <laughs> the beach is easy. We yeah, wanted to make something easy and challenging. There's nothing better than Mother Heart itself, like, in the best expression ever, like... What a best of a volcano. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, also we are very lucky because we come from Sicily and Sicily is so diverse. You can find yeah. beautiful beaches as you said. You can find small island, you can find volcanoes, you can go to a volcano that actually during the winter has snow. So we try to give to our fans the best location yeah. out of our hometown, which is so amazing. And then this year, for the first time, we went to Iceland, and this is we where we did Iceland. the third volcano. So after yeah. Volcano Iceland, Etna Volcano, we did Fagradasfjall <laughs> Volcano in Iceland. Oh, please, the and the funny one. thing is that after the first volcano video, a couple of weeks later, there was an explosion oh, yeah. in a volcano right next to it called Stromboli. Then the Etna video, there was an explosion in the Etna like one month after and now in Iceland it's just the, the eruption just finished so <laughs> it's crazy go. we make a root volcano <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Your, your music is just inspiring mother yeah. earth yeah she's just That's like beautiful. this is beautiful let me just <laughs> Love show, it. Yes. show my I will power take as well part of it. Yeah. yeah no that's, that's fire <laughs> you know you spoke about being from Sicily and you know obviously you guys that means you guys are Italian I was yeah. like looking into Italian producers, you know, there's Benny Benassi, but you don't see a lot it's of, full. yeah, there's so many, but you don't see a lot of like female, you know, Italian producers, right. like what, tell us a little bit about like your journey, trying to break barriers and being, you know, fe being female producers, female, producer, female yeah. Italian producers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we of course struggled a bit at the beginning, but uh, I think that this period is the best for females. I, I couldn't imagine doing this job like 10 or 20 years ago. If you think in Italy in 1948, women started to vote. So the world is changing very fast and I'm grateful that I can do this job with my girlfriend. This would have been like impossible. Yeah, years well, ago. at the same time, there is the world struggling right now. So, yeah, like you so can we, see, yeah, we feel like very lucky. But at the same time, it's just like we didn't make any step forward. Like if you think about it, because in in Iran or in other countries, like even here, when you speak about abortion, there is always men like deciding for your own body yeah. or your woman rights. So it's a little bit frustrating, of course. But because even if you want to act like okay, we are lucky but then there's not the same from the yeah, other people we're in the trying world, also so. to be an inspiration to other females I think that in a way we, we're trying to go forward in a positive way I think everything will be smoother and easier I see the new generation generation Zeta it, it's completely Gen different from what my generation was like yeah. I had to understand my sexuality through YouTube now everybody goes on TikTok and it's so fast well, I love your guys' journey. I can't wait to see where it takes you. Thank you again so Same. much for hanging out. Thank you so, thank much. You so much for having guys and for supporting us. Yeah, thank That's you for Tola. <laughs>